Hey everybody, tis I. I wanted to make a video because I did something that I warned other people about. I've been going through estrangement from my only two daughters for 14 plus years. And in that time, I've gotten therapy. I have done a lot of work on myself. I have disconnected blocked all forms of social media, etc., and moved on with my life. And when I hear people saying, well, I looked at her Facebook, I looked at this and that, and I said, I say, always say, don't do it. It's, it's, it's going to be tough. It's, you will spiral down. And I can't even believe this happened today. I'm in a group on Facebook about goodwill shaming 2.0 or something like that and this lady had posted a, a tiktok video about goodwill and it seemed like it would be funny so i thought okay i'm going to uh it, it just seemed like i had to download tiktok in order to see this video and um i did and immediately pops up people you may know <laughs> uh, popped my youngest daughter's TikTok and I started to shake. I was very, very, very nervous. I felt like I was peeking inside of her windows, the windows of her house. Um, I was thinking, am I going to see pictures, like videos of my grandkids? What, what am I going to see on her page? And her page really didn't have a whole lot of anything except five videos from different songs. So her page was free and clear. But then she was friends with my oldest daughter. And my oldest daughter's page goes back to 2019. And my oldest daughter likes to post videos um, of her life, her thoughts, her feelings, etc. And I scrolled and watched all of her videos, which included videos about me um, and not shedding me in a positive light. And then pictures of her getting engaged, the love of her life, um, her travels, and a lot of other various topics. And... Um, I started to shake. I felt like I was doing something wrong. And um, I was devastated. So um, I reached out to my sister-in-law, who is a beautiful, beautiful soul. She is a foster mom to a little girl who I absolutely love, who I'm an extra auntie to. And I said, hey, can I swing by? I had to go to the VA for something. And the VA is right around the corner from her house in Milwaukee. And I said, do you mind if I swing by? I saw my daughter's TikTok today. And she said, yeah, and I was able to sit with her and show her what I had found. And um, I was able to get a hug and get some compassion. So, um... I'm, 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 I'm still reeling from this. <laughs> um, she seems to be in a healthy relationship with someone who appears to be kind. And that's all I actually ever had wanted for my daughters. So I'm just letting you know. I feel like I stepped into the ring with Mike Tyson and I was knocked out. Um. It was a, <laughs> it was a sucker punch because I swear to God, <laughs> I I didn't even know. This was totally out of the blue. I don't search for my daughters on on social media. I just don't. So um, this was this was a tough one. Uh, today was a tough day. I'm I am grateful that she is seems to be happy. And I'm even more grateful that I have people in my life who value me. 
So I just want to let you know if you think that it's worth it going to search. It is not. I've been going through this for a decade and a half and I have blocked them for the last number of years. And it is, it was tough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was really tough. So um, I say when you close that book and the wound heals, don't reopen it. It is um, a tough pill to swallow when it happens. So anyways, I hope you're having a great day and I'll be back.